bacterial cystitis. Cystitis may be acute or chronic, superficial, interstitial, or complicated by pericystitis. Etiology. The etiology of cystitis has been considered in chapter 33. The conclusions therein reached may be summed up as follows. One, bacteria may reach the bladder, one from the urethra, two from the kidney, and less often three by eruption of a neighboring focus of inflammation, and four from the blood or the lymph vessels. Two, bacteria reaching the bladder will not cause any inflammation of that organ unless there is congestion due to one, retention, two, trauma by instruments, stone, or foreign body, three, disease of the bladder wall, such as neoplasm, tubercle, or simple ulcer, or four, unless the disease extends directly to the bladder from the neighboring tissues, the ureter, tuberculosis, or the urethra, gonorrhea, or five, unless the bladder is paralyzed. Three, a cystitis thus begun will disappear spontaneously unless it is perpetuated by some of the accessory causes enumerated. Four, acid cystitis is usually caused by the bacillus coli, the tubercle bacillus, the typhoid bacillus, or the gonococcus. Alkaline cystitis is due to staphylococcus, streptococcus, or proteus infection. Exceptionally, these bacteria cause only an acid cystitis. Five, mixed infection is much more frequent in the bladder than in the kidney. The pyogenic cocci predominate and the flora of cystitis is much more variegated than that of pyelonephritis. Thus, I have seen a case of cystitis due to direct extension of erysipelas from the vulva. Lutcher reports cases due to Bacillus lactis aerogenes. I have seen one such. Shute reports an infection due to penicillium glaucum.